Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of MJ Every Day, a training-based episode for you guys today, how to put together a shoulder workout. So this is a little bit of a, a, a follow-up, a little bit of a throwback to episode 29 of MJ Every Day, which is appearing on screen at the moment where I went through why I don't think you should shoulder press first at the start of a shoulder workout. And I've had a lot of questions come from people who do start their shoulder workouts with a shoulder press, asking me, okay, well, what does a shoulder workout look like? How do you put together a shoulder workout? How do you structure a shoulder workout around this notion of not shoulder pressing first? So first and foremost, we have to understand that within the, the, within the, sh the shoulder and the shoulder region, there's really four main muscle groups or four parts of that shoulder region that we want to be targeting in each and every shoulder workout that we do. So from a deltoid perspective, we've got our rear delts, we've got our middle delts, and we've got our front delts, and then we've got our traps as well, which like it or not, some people train traps with back, like it or not, traps are involved in most shoulder movements, especially lateral raising and upright row type movements. So you're gonna, whether you like it or not, you're gonna be hitting traps in your shoulder workouts, so you may as well hit them directly in your shoulder workouts as well. So once you understand that there's really those four main groups of the, of the, of the shoulder muscle, even though traps are kind of more part of your back, they still kind of make up that, that whole shoulder region, you want to be hitting exercises, at least one exercise every shoulder workout that targets each of those four muscle groups. So first and foremost, you've got your rear delts. So your rear delt exercises are going to be your bent over dumbbell rear delt flies. You can do rear delt flies on a, on a pec deck sitting reverse. You can do them standing with cables. You can do any kind of rear delt fly that's really going to directly engage and hit those rear delts and indirectly going to hit your traps as well. Another type of exercise that you can do for rear delts are face pull type exercise or high row type exercises. So you can do them seated with a rope. You can do them standing with a rope and a cable. You can do Kai Green style super wide grip with a barbell where you're pulling up towards your chin rather than down towards your hip. Any type of those high rowing type movements are going to hit those rear delts directly and then also indirectly going to hit your traps. Moving on to middle delts, this is where you're talking about your lateral raise type movements and your upright row type movements. So your lateral raises can be seated with dumbbells, standing with dumbbells. You can use machine, a lateral raise machine. You can do them standing or seated with cables in the low position. Your upright rows, similar. You can do them standing with dumbbells, seated with dumbbells dumbbells standing with a barbell. You can do them with cables with a straight bar. I don't think I've ever seen an upright row machine, but if you come across one, you can use that as well to do that, that upright rowing type motion. And those exercises are going to directly hit middle delts. They're going to indirectly also hit traps. And sometimes for most people, indirectly, they're going to hit a little bit of front delt and a little bit of rear delt as well. Moving on then to front delts. This is where you're talking about your pressing, guys. So you're talking about your overhead press seated, standing, with dumbbells, with barbells, overhead press machines, hammer strength isolateral machines, anything that's involving that overhead pressing movement is going to directly target those front delts. And you guys will remember from episode 29, I'm a big advocate for not starting your shoulder workouts with, your, with, a, with a big heavy press. I'm an advocate for starting them with rear delts, then moving into middle delts, and then moving into front delts after you've done rear delts and middle delts, or at least one one rear delt exercise and one middle delt exercise. And then finally, you've got your traps, and this is where you're talking about your shrugging type movements. So shrugs, seated or standing with dumbbells, see, uh, standing with a barbell, shrug machines, there's hammer strength isolateral shrug machines that you can use now. Any type of shrugging movement is gonna obviously directly hit those traps, and that's how you're gonna directly hit those traps along with all the indirect stimulation through your lateral raises, your rear delt lateral raises, in your upright rows as well. And guys, that is how I go about putting together a shoulder workout. I start from the back, I start with rear delts, I move to middle, I don't hit front delts myself, but for you guys that want to hit front delts, you can then put front delts in there and then usually finish your shoulder workouts off with traps because they get hit indirectly throughout pretty much every other exercise that you're doing in your shoulder workouts. Guys, that's a wrap. For today's episode of MJ Every Day, as always, don't forget to hit 
the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn your post notifications on both on your cell phone, your mobile, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Until tomorrow, I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay